Hello everyone. Hello teacher. All right. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY necklace. So as we all know, paper is widely used in art. So what are the other uses of arts again? Of paper again? Drawing and painting. So yes. Do you think we can use them to create a 3D art? Yes, teacher. Yes, exactly. So we can create various types of paper art such as paper mosaic, paper quilling, pop-ups, yes, origami or paper cut designs. So do you have any idea on what we're about to do today? Yes, teacher. Exactly. So today, I am going to show you how to make a DIY necklace. So watch out. Roll the paper strips into conical beads of various sizes and stick the ends using Fabricil Fabric Glue. Make many rolls of different sizes. Paint the conical paper beads with Fabricil Sparkling Pearl Colors. Set it to dry. Dab some sparkling pearl gold on the beads. Set them to dry. Thread some turquoise beads along with the conical paper beads, not the thread at the end. After creating such beads or such um place made of paper beads so let us here's another outcome so let us try to look at our artworks created so may i have someone from the class to present their work in front stamberly you will go first okay po. so what can you say about your work colorful teacher correct what art principle does it fall under okay correct and um and the colors used are turquoise and many more Okay, so according to the color wheel, we have two categories of color. And what are they again? Primary and secondary colors. Very good, children. Now, tell me, what colors belong to the primary category and the secondary colors? Perfect. So that's correct, guys. So you have discerned the colors well. Now, let us see if they have harmony. So two colors complement each other. Or does a color or a two overlap the other colors? So by looking at the colors of the beads, what do you feel? Or what at atmosphere do you feel when looking into its colors? Wow, you're very imaginative. So what about the shapes? Are they the same? No, teacher. Perfect observations, April. Now, if I hold the necklace like this, What can you say about the placement of the beads? It's repeated. Very good. Repetition in terms of? Shapes. Splendid explanation, Joy. And let us see if the beads looked crump on the string. Does it? Yes. That's right. So, okay. What do we call this tree? Color, shape, and space. Again? Color, shape, and space. Very good. So how about this? Position and balance. Exactly. So now let us recall the steps in creating paper beads. So who wants to come in front and demonstrate the first set? Me. Joy, you may proceed. Thank you. Okay, very good class. Now for our activity this afternoon, I want you to create your own uh, papier match or papier beads. So for the criteria, I want you to I will be posting the criteria in our whiteboard. So after uh, 20 minutes, I want you to um, show your work and then each of your classmates will um, give their um, score for your work. Okay teacher. Okay. 
We're done, teacher. Very good, everyone. You have made um very excellent and very nice feed or papier mash. For now, and now we will have our before we will leave the classroom. I will be giving you your assignments. So for your assignment, I want you to create a group and design a 3D model house. So that's it, guys. Thank you for today. Thank you, teacher.